ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's badly needed face shave. For those of you that are doubting, close up shot there, plenty of growth needed to come off. We're gonna do that today. We got a profile for you. First line shave, just got this in. This stuff I've been actually eagerly waiting for. I really, I, I'm, a, I'm a real big cologne guy and this is a cologne dupe of uh, CK Eternity, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'll tell you, he nailed it. It's right on par. Uh, the First Line Shave is a brand new company. They came out, uh, uh, it's owned by uh, Michael Riley. He started by making, a, he looked out to uh, make a shave soap where he wanted to have the proceeds go to charity. And I reached out to a bunch of artisans and then decided to take the project on himself and therefore made his own company. He's got a lot of great stuff on there, however, just a caveat, as of right now, everything is completely sold out um, on his website, but I've been told he'll be restocking as soon as he can. Speaking of restocking, in the mail I also got this. This is a sample right here of his next release that's coming out. Uh, it's, this is, if you see, this has a uh, kind of a reddish line to it, or this one has blue. Okay, the reddish is intended to represent the firefighters. He's a first responder, and uh, the, uh, Michael Riley is, and what happens is every single soap that he sells, a dollar gets donated to, I believe it's backstoppers.org, which is a organization that benefits uh, um, families of fallen police officers. So awesome, awesome, awesome cause, and uh, we're looking forward to trying this out. Again, I'm not sure you know, what type of donation will come from this, if any, but, uh, this, I've been told, they haven't opened it yet, as I've told, <clears throat> is, a, is a dupe of, is a cologne dupe of the cologne Fahrenheit. So, uh, I don't know what it smells like, I've not tried it, but as far as this one is concerned, I have a pairing aftershave to go with it. This bottle, in my opinion, is one of the coolest aftershave bottles I own. I love how this blends like that. That's just, it. I love the colors. At first, I thought it was the actual aftershave, but... It's not, it's just the way that the bottle's made and I, I love it, it's awesome, I really like it. As far as the scent is concerned, to me, honestly, it smells a lot like Polo. Or Polo uh, Sport, if you've ever smelled that. I know it's the dupe off of CK Eternity, I get that, but I'm just saying, this to me, you know, reminds me of uh, uh, Polo Sport. Next, we're getting into the brush. This is our two-tone tall West Coast shaving, synthetic knot boss second generation, or second generation boss knot. Be shaving with that today. Uh, also in the aftershave, we usually have the <clears throat> Witch Hazel and the JD bottle. We're going for that as well. Now, what are we shaving with? We always go, well, we have been going for the last half a year or so. We're doing a straight razor, nothing crazy here, just our gold dollar straight. We're gonna mow the face with that. That's what we're getting into. So, I have my soap right here. This is the container that it's in. I'm gonna actually dump this out. There we go, there's the soap matching container, kind of looks, it's got the same insignia. It's just a plastic tub, screw top label, that sort of thing. And that's the look of the soap right there. It is tallow based, but we'll get into all that in a few minutes here. So we're gonna take this soap, or a few seconds here, we're gonna take the soap, we're gonna lather it up, I'm sorry, load it up into the brush, lather it on the face, get this shave happening, because I'm badly in need to do it, I need to have it done, and then I gotta get to work. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. First responders, police, fire, EMS, dispatchers. Occupations that are hazardous, either physically, mentally, emotionally, or a combination of all three. Michael Riley knows this firsthand, being a first responder himself. As a wet shaver, he wanted to come up with a charity-based shave soap that would have proceeds that somehow benefit first responders. After reaching out to various artisans, he decided to take on the project himself, and First Line Shave was born. The St. Louis, Missouri native created a shave soap and aftershave of the same name, with a dollar from each soap donated to Backstoppers.org. Backstoppers.org is an organization that offers financial assistance to families of on-duty fallen first responders. This tallow-based shave soap comes in a four ounce plastic tub with a screw top lid and a waterproof label. Both the soap and the aftershave are available as a set for $38 at firstlineshave.com, where the soap can be bought by itself for $20. 
Currently, the aftershave is not available to be purchased by itself. The scent is inspired by CK's Eternity Cologne with notes of mandarin, lavender, green botanics, basil, geranium, sage, sandalwood, rosewood, and amber. The scent opens up with a very brief citrus hat tipping, giving way to the lavender and other supporting mid-notes, to be pleasantly grounded with a nice combo of the sandalwood and rosewood, and then a sharp ending by the amber. This demands an eyebrow-raising smile from anyone who was fortunate enough to catch this fragrance. Quite possibly one of my favorite scents available as an aftershave. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We have the soap all loaded up in here and ready to go. I'd say I went about a minute. It's probably way too much soap than, a, uh, than I really need, but I like to blow the heck out of it because I like the good shave and want to never have the chance of running out of soap. Incidentally of the day, uh, let's run into the holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Memorial Lost Sock Day. That's right. You know what? That happens to me every time. Buy socks in the package. I could take the entire package, not even wear them, dump them into the washing machine, pull them out afterwards, and one would be missing. Happens every time. Drives me nuts. And I know it happens to you as well. Anyway. That's my complaint of the day, and that is the holiday of the day. So let's move on to the shave. Let's wet the face here. And we'll see you guys in post-shave. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Thank you very much for staying with us. What a fantastic shave and just in time for me to go to work. Let's go ahead and throw on a little bit of witch hazel here. Peach scented. Ugh, I can't wait till that stuff is gone. It's going to take a while though. All right. Anyway, so as far as the shave is concerned, this shave soap, wow, I'm actually, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, it's, it's awesome. I really like it a lot. The scent is fantastic. The scent strength on it probably is about, I'd say, between six and seven for me. 
It, uh, it kind of jumps back and forth as far as picking it up. There's some parts of the shave I don't really smell much of it, and then all of a sudden it'll just get a waft of it. It smells really, really good. I really like it, and it just kind of reminds me even why I like this scent even more. As far as the cushion density, you can see at the end, even at the very end, the scent, the density was there, and that's from doing a whole bunch of sh uh, passes. The uh, ease of loading, it took about a minute. It was a little bit longer than some other soaps for me to load it, but uh, at the same time, I do have hard water, and I didn't adjust it for any reason on that. So the fact that I was able to load it after a minute uh, was perfect for me. So uh, ease of lathering blew right up. Didn't have any issues there. Uh, the scent strength, even when it lathered, was, was on par. A lot of times, it kind of, sometimes the soaps can die down a little bit, reminding everybody again, these are soaps, not colognes. And so having said all that, I think the shave, as I said, was fantastic. I had no issues whatsoever. I definitely recommend this base to anybody who wants to try, who's getting into wet shaving, wants to try it, if they're in stock. Now, aftershave. This is alcohol based, I believe. Actually, yeah, it is alcohol based. Just wanted to make sure of that. So it is alcohol based and wow. The scent, it's funny because I put it on and I thought to myself, well, the scent strength on this was rather low, but I don't know if it just needed time to settle in, but all of a sudden now it smells just like a cologne. So, which is fine for me. I'm rocking, rolling with that. The, uh, the consistency of it is different though. I almost, that's why I questioned the alcohol at first because I almost felt like a, a witch hazel, but looking at the ingredients, it does say it's got alcohol in it. So, um, aloe vera, just, but the thing is it feels very hydrating. I actually like this aftershave quite a bit. This is really nice. It, uh, it, it fooled me. I thought it was a witch hazel base, but not at all. So awesome. So. That's the shave. I recommend these products to anybody that's getting into wet shaving. You can get your hands on them. And anybody that's experienced, give them a shot. It goes to a great cause and they're great scents and they're great performers. So that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chad with CD Shaving. If you haven't shaved today and you do so, have great shaves. Have a great rest of the day. And we'll see you guys. And go Oh, actually, you know what? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification. Every time we do a new video here at CD Shaven. Folks, I am Chad. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you guys and girls.